Yo, hello. It's Povika some editing visuals here. And as you can see from the title, today we'll be making some sort of like a block transition. I don't know how to name it. Uh, if you guys have a suggestion for the name, please let me know. So to make this sort of like a blocks transition, go to the blocks, like to the solid rectangle tool right, right here and go and select the rectangle, make the fill to white, and then make sure you're not selecting any layer and just start to like draw your little block, but draw it like half. So I think half is like right here because you can tell by this half point and basically you can like press ctrl shift d to cut it up the block because you just want it for one frame or two frames cut it like this so for example this is where it switches to a next clip so here it can be like down copy and paste this so we can press ctrl d so i'm gonna press p and i'll just make it go down like this and a lot of the edits they made this to dark so we can like press on it like this and go to fill and make it dark and now we can press ctrl d to duplicate it and here we can make it like white but we can drag it below like this as well <laughs> i guess you could have just duplicated this and then we can actually i'm just gonna duplicate this one the black one i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna make it white so for this one basically just like this like it's blocked like that in a lot of the cases what i found to work really well is actually like not having this at all and here i like to extend the dark one like this it's it feels more blocky this way but you can have both of these ways and now we can add some cool adjustments here so we can like press ctrl to white to make a new adjustment layer and we can cut it up i'm gonna have one frame before the block transition starts i'm gonna make it go down and here we can add some cool effects uh, so the first effect we can add is actually a plugin called deep glow you don't need this one you can very much not add this this is not essential but yeah i just like the glow it gives you and it looks very cool it looks nostalgic and here i just keep it like that and now let's go to effects and presets and add directional blur and here we can make the direction to 90 blur length to 19 and keyframe the blur length and the last effect we'll add here is warp and let's make the warp style to fisheye and make the bend to minus 70 at the start and also keyframe it at the start like that i like this blocks transition when it just like warps as well all right let's go one frame forward now we can press u and we'll see our keyframes here and i like to make the bend at the second frame to minus 100 and the blur of directional blur to 36 and now let's go one frame forward again to warp and here i like to make the bend to zero now let's go one frame forward again and here let's make the blur length to 106 and the last frame we can just like not even have it doesn't have to start with white tile down it can start like up it can start whatever it can start like with dark tile up it's just for this one i'm just doing it like this and if you want you can save this as a preset by pressing ctrl a holding shift and going to animation save animation preset and here you can call it whatever you want so like blocks transition like this one and press save and whenever you want to add it you'll just be able to go here and type blocks transition and add it if i had to give more cool ideas for this one i would definitely suggest adding some really cool overlays one of my favorite overlays to go with this transition is an overlay from my VHS pack. If you have the VHS pack, which is an overlay and a presets pack, which has over 120 overlays and over 25 presets. So we can go pick whatever overlay we want. So I like the VHS overlay 60 here, for example, and we can drag it down. So here we can right click on it and go to blending mode. And here we can make it screen. Now we can have it like zoomed in like this because this overlay is actually zoomed in right now, but we can also press S and we can scale it down to 50%. So it matches our composition because my composition is 180p. And I think it makes for a super cool transition and i think we can end the transition like right here so it's gonna be a longer transition this one so here is the transition it's a super dope transition uh and there are plenty of more overlays to mess around here another thing i would suggest is pressing ctrl y and this is not a needed thing to do but i do like it sometimes and it's to add motion tile uh, you can go to output width and make it like 70 so it has these tiles right here i like it how it looks a lot of the times but you don't need to have it all of the time and that's basically it for the effect if you guys want to check out the vhs overlay pack i actually have a five dollar discount code which is code povicas for those of you who have plugins such as Signal, Sapphire, Omino, and Universe, by having these plugins, you can save $20 off by getting my Ultimate Damage Bundle, which has a presets pack plus the VHS pack. And the presets pack is the Damage Tree presets pack, which is a 50 plus presets pack that has VHS plus CRT style presets. But anyways, guys, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please let me know. And guys, have a fun and productive day. See ya.